Hello. Good evening. Good afternoon. Namaskara, Ellarigu. Hello. Look, look. Tap, tap. Hello. Who is out there? Yari Dira. Vagila Hindeli. Vagila Teredi De. Lero Alag Barbodo. Come on, ladies. Yay, I can see four people. Do you guys, do you ladies want to say hello? Hi Radhika, thank you, thank you. You read my mind and you said hi Hema, thank you. What about the other three? I've got only four there. The other three, can they say hi to me? Thank you Rupa, thank you. Hi. See, sometimes it just happens. It just kind of like, you know, the system doesn't recognize. There might be more people in um, who wouldn't have said hello to me and then it kind of like disappears all of a sudden and it has happened several times. So when I go back um, to acknowledge the messages, then I realize, oh, even she was there. <laughs> I didn't see her then. So, hi, Sunita Atge. Thank you for joining. Hi, Trivini, thank you. Thank you, thank you, ladies. Good, good, good. I've got almost nine there, so it will be picking up its momentum. Thank you. Hi, ladies. Welcome, welcome to Wholesome Wednesday, session number 67. Today, it's all about saris as well as poetry recital in Canada by Mrs. Uma Kati. I'll introduce Uma a little bit later, but before that, it's the normal acknowledgement of the birthdays and the national days and a little spiel about my sari, and then I'll bring Uma on and then I'll introduce, right? Uh, thank you, Shubha. Thank you for joining. I have to have my glasses now, sorry. It's just scrolling so quickly. Um, hi, nice sari combination and also beautiful earrings. Thank you so much. Hi, Vasantanti. Thank you for joining in. Hi, Divya. Thank you for joining in. Thank you. Thank you, Shubha. All right. Um, today, uh, whose birthday are we celebrating? We have Kavita Kanabiran, Banu Ashok, Poonima, and Shamla Satish BK. A very happy birthday to all of you ladies and plus the ladies who celebrated birthdays from last Wednesday up until uh, yesterday. Wishing you all again a very, very happy birthday. Right? And coming to our national days, I'm so fond of this. I'll just go quickly because there are quite a few. And it's just so appropriate, some of them, you know. Um, I'll tell you why. Uh, national White Chocolate Day. Oh, it's just a lovely confectionery. Who doesn't like chocolates? Uh, on the other hand, I'm a dark chocolate person or a normal chocolate person, but not a white chocolate, but if given a choice, if there is no choice, not given a choice, if there's no choice, well, I'll dig into white chocolate as well. doesn't matter. The next one is the National Online Recovery Day. This is for the substance abusers, like, you know, who would have been um using drugs and everything so it's just putting an end to that so perhaps maybe you know if you know someone across or something if you just want to kind of like support them or even just give them a call and talk to them so that's plenty so you're basically supporting the national recover well, online recovery day the next one is the National Legwear Day. I'm sure everyone um, would kind of like, you know, love a comfortable legwear, which is, it could be in the form of anything like socks or leggings or stockings. Um, it could be in any form. So basically we are celebrating that even like tights as well. So basically we are supporting that today. So that's the National Legwear Day. National Ice Cream Cone Day. So it's very simple. Yes, everyone loves a cone ice cream, isn't it? So that's that. The next one is the girls, National Girls' Night Out, the Night Out Day. 
it, this session itself is a girls' night out, right? So I have got all the girls from the Sari Gallery enjoying a night out, especially from Sydney. If you are from India, obviously, it, in different time zones, it's a different time zone. But in uh, Sydney, uh, sorry, in Australia, it is again night. So whoever is watching the Sydney Siders and the Australians, um, yeah, it's a girls' night out. We are enjoying our time here. So it could be going out to movies or seeing a session or watching a session together. So that's what we are doing on the virtual platform here. So I'm so happy about that. The next one is the National Elephant Appreciation Day. So you can either read or say some documentaries or etc. And I'm just proud to say that I'm wearing a sari. I'm gonna tell about my sari in a little bit. So I do have an elephant here. <laughs> so I, I didn't even realize, like I'm kind of like, you know, when I wore that, I said, oh wow, there's an elephant in the sari. So there you go. And the next one is the National Centenarians Day. This is basically people who have celebrated their 100 years I did not get the stats um, for Australia, but I do have the stats for US from 2019. It seems so there were 72,000 um, people who celebrated their 100 years. Wow, that's a staggering number, isn't it? Wow, that's probably we should find out what's the secret to their longevity. Uh, the next one is the National Hobbit Day. It's uh, probably relating to um, like, you know, hobbits and the best example would be the Lord of the Rings. If you're fond of watching uh, Lord of the Rings, perhaps maybe encourage that to honor the day. And the next one is the Dear Diary Day. Oh my God, everyone kind of like writes diaries, right? Those days. <laughs> no, I haven't done any diary writing. But um, here, it's kind of like in the Western world, it's kind of like, you know, very popular and people do maintain their diaries. Um, which is, it is really good for like record keeping and things like that. So if you are into it, so that's the day to celebrate today. And the next one is the car free day. So I did not do this. So this is basically to, to support the environment as um, well as like, you know, uh, contributing a little bit to the global warming, just to ditch the car for a day and walk or take a public transport. So this is, this is all about um, days. And coming to my sari, the sari for tonight is a Khan sari, which is from Karnataka. I'm so proud to say that this is from Karnataka. It's originated in Karnataka. It is from Gulle the Gudda in Bagalkote. Um, and this is basically, um, the, the one which I'm wearing is a cotton silk sari. And uh, in olden days, uh, Kana is basically, in Kannada, means uh, blouse. So it, only blouse pieces were woven at that time. And it was a matching um, attire, like, you know, a matching blouse piece for ilkal saris. So people who used to buy ilkal saris, they used to end up buying the Kana blouse. So if you see, um, like, you know, pictures or images, even on the web or anything, you often see um, ilkal saris with khana blouse. So that was the reason behind khana at that time. But in recent years, um, khana has become more popular and it's now woven in saris. So you get beautiful, vibrant colors and the colors are mind blowing, you know. Uh, the dyeing technique, what they use, and um, the combinations, what they have. It's so beautiful. All the colors are really, really beautiful. So tonight, it's kind of a purplish magenta, I would say, like a, like a deep um, magenta, or uh, it's, a, a, okay, per, perhaps maybe it looks like more purple. Maybe it is. Um, I'm kind of like tossing between like, you know, deep purple, like um, magenta, so, sorry, um, yeah, magenta kind of like, you know, borderline. So, and beautifully matched with green and um, I'll be posting about the sari later on. So that's the spiel about the sari. And it seems so um, in um, Saundati, which is, where is Saundati? Saundati is in, again, Belgaum district. And there is a Devi Yaman temple there. It seems so, even to date, they only accept khana fabric. It could be in the form of a fabric, which is like a blouse piece or saris. So they don't accept any other uh, saris for Devi Yaman. 
So that's a little bit of trivia up there, which I didn't know. So I was kind of like browsing through and then, you know, found this and thought, okay, a nice example to share with you ladies. So that's a little bit of um, uh, Kana. Um, I'm so fond of Elkal now. So uh, <laughs> it's, it just goes on going, right? So, and this one also has got a touch of Karnataka, another touch of Karnataka, which it has got um, hand embroidered kasuti as well from Darwad. So it's the Darwad kasuti on the sari. And yeah, this is what the sari is. So I'll be posting that tonight. So now, um, before I bring Uma, I just wanted to share um, three poems. Um, I'll do it very quickly. Um, and these poems are, one is written by one of my nieces in Kushalnagar. It's basically about me, I'm not boasting, but I just wanted to bring it to the platform, which was very appropriate, and it was to do with the um, reading of the poems, and she writes as well. So I just thought I'll just kind of like, you know, share that she has shared that in the past, but um, there are quite a few people who were not aware of it. So it's, it's just a little spiel about myself, <laughs> which I'm very proud of, and I'm just presenting that um, without any shame. <laughs> I'll do that in a minute. Uh, uh, this one is um, a poem written by um, Nagashaila Kumar, who is one of our close friends. And I've got another one from Ramesh Santibanur, who is also one of our close friends. And they are very poetic and you know, they write so well. I just thought this is the platform to share and I have checked with them and they were happy to say yes to this. So I'm just reading this. Um, the very first one is about saris again, which Nagashaila Kumar has written. Uh, this is how it goes. Okay, it's in Kannada, right? So, Namma Bharatambe, Sirigala Tavaruru, Avugala Anda Chendake, Sarisati, Yariharu, Varna Vaibhava, Chiluva Chithara, Naya Najuka, Jariya Shrungara, Uduva Shailiyali, A Nelada Sara, Intiralu, Berava Udupugalu Nindavu, Sire Gedurige, Lalaniera Rudayadali, Sanihadavaragi, Nari in the Sire Gunda, Sire Gandavo, Sire in the Nari Gandavo, Atava, Yerdu Unto Yeno, Nanagantu, Nan Navalu, Sire Le Baluchenda, Yava Sire Udale Navalo, Mogavu, Chendirana, Anda. Sire Galaun Matanadi Suva Chature, Shiva Mechida Anu, A Matakeli, Nan Nodala Kavi, Idanu, Ulidanu. Barger Yagitu, Sire Gala Samvada, O Mechika Peti Abidiali, Sutti Bandantaitu. So <laughs> I thought it was so appropriate to kind of like, you know, read this in this platform, and you know, hence <laughs> I just kind of like, you know, um, read that. So the next one is, um, this is from uh, another friend, as I mentioned, it's Ramesh Sintibinur. And oh, all these, they literally write. I don't know where they get the spirit and, you know, uh, it, it has to come, right? So I'm very good at reading, so I'm just reading. <laughs> this one is about three, again, you know, pertaining to us. Three. Tane nondu bendaru, tanna shishuvina novu, dur padisuvalu, as three. Tanna jeevana vanne ghanda da kattige yante savisidaru, kutumba da sheetalatege, sukha jeevana ke, parimala niduvalu, as three. Mate mamate in the modal gonda, mamakara. Patiya prema the seetu vinda, so hard the teya sanketa vaguvalu, as three. Sahana sheila teya chinheyagi, Mukul nageya mutu the resi, Naukeya nayakiyo embante. Kutumba Vemba Naukeya Huttagi, Ale Yalegala Naduwe, Chalisuvala Naukeya, Astri. Stri Emba Pada Vandadaru, Samsara da Halavara Padavigala Nugalisi, Samsara da Saro Bagavalu, Astri. Hope I have done justice. <laughs> so that's from um, our dear friend. And this is um, all about me. <laughs> I'm, I'm not boasting, but it was so appropriate. I thought I'll just share this. Lata Ramesh, if you are watching, Nortidre, again, thanks once again. Matte Otai Dinidana. 
ಹಿಂದೆ ಒಂದ್ಸರ್ತಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ತಾನೇ ಓದಿದ್ದು ಸೊ ಈಗ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ಸರ್ತಿ ಓದ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಸೊ ಶಾಂತಮೂರ್ತಿಯ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ಸೊಸೆ ಹೇಮಾ ಶ್ರೀಧರನ ಮೋಹಕ ಮಡದಿ ಹೇಮಾ ಶಶಿ ಸೋಮನ ಮೆಚ್ಚಿನ ನಾದಿನಿ ಹೇಮಾ ರಮಾ ಸುಮಾರ ನೆಚ್ಚಿನ ತೆಂಗಿ ಹೇಮಾ ನಿಖಿಲ್ಗೆ ಆದಳು ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ತಾಯಿ ಹೇಮಾ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರೇಲಿಯಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಯಶಸ್ವಿ ಮಹಿಳೆಯಾದ ಹೇಮಾ ಸದಾ ಎಲ್ಲರ ಜೊತೆ ನಲಿದಾಡುವ ಹೇಮಾ ವಿವಿಧ ತಿಂಡಿ ತಯಾರಿಸಿ ಫೋಟೋ ಹಾಕುವ ಹೇಮಾ ವಿವಿಧ ತೊಡುಗೆ ಉಟ್ಟು ನಲಿಯುವ ಹೇಮಾ ಸದಾ ಎಂಥೂಸಿಯಸ್ಟ್ ನನ್ನ ಅತ್ತಿಗೆ ಹೇಮಾ ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾರಿ ಗ್ಯಾಲರಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ಹೇಮಾ ಸೀರೆಯ ಅಂದ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಸಿದ ಹೇಮಾ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಸೀರೆಯ ಒಲವು ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಸಿದ ಹೇಮಾ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಸಾರಿ ಉಟ್ಟು ನಲಿಯುವ ಹೇಮಾ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಸೀರೆ ಉಟ್ಟು ಮಾಡುವವಳು ಟಿಕ್ಟಾಕ್ ಮೊದಲು ನಮ್ಮಗೆಲ್ಲರಗಾಯಿತು ಶಾಕ್ ಈಗ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗಿಷ್ಟ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಈ ನ್ಯೂ ಲುಕ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದಿನ ಹೊಸ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನಕ್ಕೆ ನನ್ನ ಮನಪೂರ್ವಕ ಗುಡ್ ಲಕ್ ಬೈ ಲತಾ ರಮೇಶ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಲತಾ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೋ 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 ನೈಸ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ ಓವರ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲವ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಥಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನೈಸ್ ಓ ರೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಐ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ Uh, let, let me just bring Uma as well into this fray. Um, oh, there are a few messages here. Wow. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before I forget and before I bring in there. So I have stopped at uh, Shubha and Naina is saying, Hi, Naina. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Again, Nagasundari Ram Prakash, thank you for joining in. Radhika saying, Sari must. Thank you, Radhika. Indeed, it's a beautiful Sari. I just loved it. Madhavi, thank you for joining in. Nice combo, Sari. Thank you. Thank you. Vasanta saying, wow, excellent explanation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Devi Yammai. Okay. Thank you for correcting. Yes, uh, Devi Yammai Temple. Bhumita, thank you for watching. um pratima thank you for watching divya thank you once again uh vasanta aunty saying awesome thank you deepa thank you for joining in vidya thank you for joining in nimur kade doppa vidya sire <laughs> absolutely gorgeous <laughs> anu shivram saying a beautiful poem by nagashaila hope i did the justice anu uh, captures the grace and beauty of sarees yes indeed i just couldn't resist i thought this is the right platform to bring it across otherwise you know it just kind of like you know just uh, disappears in the group i just thought okay why not share this in this group madhavi they saying wow wow <laughs> anu is saying wow kya baat hai ramesh ji yes they are all so good at writing isn't it hey ma shetty jor aaye to <laughs> jor aaye to correct <laughs> oh dear oh dear okay let me bring uma in uh i have already added uh uh uma can you accept my invitation uh uh are you able to accept um it's not letting me add again uh bring a friend no uma can you try and accept um hmm and you saying you read it very well hey ma good on you thank you tumba din agito kannada odi like you know <laughs> when i printed it i was just thinking maybe i should read once i read it once then i thought okay i should be okay <laughs> it's just the starting one you know because you kind of like don't read um, so much like you know kanara or write as well so hi lata thank you for joining in um uh i just can't um uma can you accept the request which was sent um mm, uh i can't i can't i can't add you uh I have already done it. See whether it is still sitting there, whether um, you can add yourself. Uh, 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, ladies. Um, it's kind of like sitting in the ether, so the, the, the systems have to communicate, like, you know, uh, the, the frequency of mine and her frequency has to link for her to come in. Um, try once again, Umasi, whether you can see the request somewhere in your notification folder sitting there. Uh, hmm. No. Okay, while um, Uma, I'll, I'll introduce yourself, see whether you can figure out um, whether there is an invite um, sitting in your notification folder. By that time, like, you know, rather than wasting time, I kind of like, you know, introduce you. So. Thank you once again, ladies, for joining in for session number 67, which happens to be about saris and Kannada poetry, right? So poetry is another form of literary art where language is used and it's the expression of the feelings, the emotions, the sentiments, which goes behind. And that's what will be portrayed when someone writes a poem, right? If the poem could be on any topic, like, you know, they, they would be so versatile, you just give them the topic and they just write it. Um, okay. No. I can't add to you. Um, okay. Um, Uma, just see whether you can add yourself and come into the system. Uh, just send in a request for me, whether I can add you the other way around rather than you waiting for my invite to figure out whether you can come. So, um, no, no, uh, no. All right, we'll, we'll just wait, it won't be too long. Uh, just send in a request saying you want to come and um, I should be able to uh, grant you access to come on the same frame. Um, I can only, no, I can't even see you. Right. Um, actually, as I mentioned, like, you know, writing, it lets um, one's feelings to come out, like, you know, and it's basically a kind of like experience which sometimes will have a positive effect um, like you know emotional well-being uh, if you take it deeply like you know it, it will definitely be a positive um, impact on your thoughts and feelings so um, yeah that's that's what the uh, poets do so in in reciting a poem it's basically be, like you know um, three things are required one is obviously a poet and one is who has written the poem and then there needs to be a voice right if there is no voice there can't be a recital otherwise it will be just a reading so it's it's a very active and um, a physical aspect in oral poetry and as I mentioned like you know it needs a speaker a listener something popped up no uh, no Uma try and see whether you can just um, come in uh, put in a request and see whether I would be able to add you Anu Shivram who is very very well versed in poetry saying poetry is a spontaneous overflow of powerful emotions oh that's Wordsworth so, yeah very nice very nice um, so it's it's basically a vocal art the speaker brings their own experience to it like you know changing to their own sensibilities it could be the tone or you know if it's happy like you, you can make out by the tone like you know the way it is being read so that that impacts a lot uh, the way the poem is written as well as the person who writes the poem who presents it so it all makes a lot of difference so we have as i mentioned uma katishu who's having difficulty to join in um uma try and see again whether you can join in so uma 
comes from a village, a small village in uh, Kakudu in near Sirsi in North Karnataka. And she has been in Sydney for the last 28 years. I have to tell you, we migrated in 1993, October. And in those days, um, there used to be uh, skill mats, right? So my husband used to go to skill mats and there was a gentleman. Sorry, sorry, ladies, I was interrupted there. Hello, sorry, 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 ladies. Um, I had to take that call because she was having difficulty <laughs> to um, enter. But anyway, so I was telling about uh, 1993 where um, there was uh, Skill Max and um, there was a gentleman from uh, Bangalore who was in charge of Skill Max. And for some reason, uh, my husband was directed from, um, uh, what, what was it called in those days? Uh, Commonwealth Services, which is uh, Centrelink Services. So he was directed um, to go to Skillmax uh, for updating his resume and getting it printed, etc. And that was in Chatsworth, right? So Uma and my husband um, used to go together, like, you know, they bumped into each other and Uma was also new to the country and we were new to the country. And then, you know, um, that day, like uh, Shrida comes back home, my husband comes back home and says, look, I met another Bangalorean. And uh, I was kind of like all excited. And um, it just so happened uh, when I was chatting to her, um, she mentioned that um, she was a TV actor, actress, and I was just saying, wow, you're a TV actress. And then she used to, at that time, um, if I remember, probably she might correct me, it was called Spandana. In, it was in 92, I think. Uh, it was a Kannada serial used to come. I remember the name quite well because I kind of like, you know, associate um, Uma to Spandana. I think it was Spandana. So she was acting in that. So... And then what happened, um, I was directed to go to um, the Parameter Center of um, the Skill Max um, to do some printing. And from there, I was introduced to another person for doing some work experience. And I ended up seeing Uma there. So Uma and I kind of like, you know, did work experience together. And the person who used to take her work, work experience, a very well-known figure um, in the Indian community, I won't say who it is, uh, he said, look, whoever comes to me, they just leave the job and then they just go within two or three days. The, exactly the same thing happened. Like Uma continued to stay there. I think probably she might have stayed for another fortnight or maybe a month or so. But I ended up getting a job and I left that completely. So probably we were there for two or maybe three days together uh, working in the same um, uh, firm for work experience. And um, that's how I kind of like, you know, associate Uma. Anyway, so coming back to Uma, she has rendered her services in accounting and customer service fields. And she's also completed her master's in primary teaching. And at the moment she's enjoying and she's a home economist. I wouldn't say enjoying, like just came out, but um, a person who is at home very well knows what they do and everything. So it's actually an honor <laughs> to be on a home economist. And coming to her, like, you know, since a young age, she was very affectionate about um, Kannada language. And though her schooling was in English medium, she was very, and as well as even now, she's very passionate to write in Kannada. And there was a solid reason for that because her grandfather, who is late Sri um, G.K. Hegde, who was a poet at that time, and um, obviously he used to write in Kannada, and um, very well-known poets like um, late Sri um, D.R. Bendre and Sri Shivram Karan, both Agnanapit awardees, they used to stay in their house and they used to compose um, poetries together and other compositions. So obviously when you have the influence um, of like, you know, the people who are writing into poetries, discussion, etc. Even from a young um, age, you're kind of like tuned into that. So that's what happened to her. And her sources um, for encouragement were her parents as well as her granddad. And inspired by this, you know, she started to write in uh, Kannada. And during her school days, she has actively participated um, in the speech, 
um, a debating and a writing competition. She was also part of a radio program as well. And she's also acted in dramas and TV serials, she says, but I don't know about the other serials, but I know about one definitely, probably she might shed some light. And she's also acted in short films. Uh, all these were done prior to coming to Sydney. And at the moment, she's been a bit quiet and um, writing every now and then, not so often, but she still writes. And all her um, poetry collections um, is being um, posted on the Facebook page on her wall. So if you want, you can go and have a look at it. So she has written beautifully. And that is what she would be presenting um, to the other uh, people in the Sari gallery who are not um, friends with her. And um, she hasn't published any books or anything, but whatever she has collectively written, um, that's all in Facebook, so you can go and um, grab it anytime. So, which is, uh, I, I would say, like, you know, it's, it's a very good um, <laughs> bank to keep all your memories. You can go anytime and pull out um, anything, whatever you want. So, since I have had difficulty, I'll just try one. Elrigu Namaskara. Um, I think I had some technical glitches, so I couldn't join uh, Hema Shetty. So I thought I will introduce myself. I am Uma Kati, and I'm from uh, India, Karnataka, and a small place called uh, Kapkodu near Sirsi in Uttar Kannada district. And I have been here from uh, last 28 years, since last 28 years, and I sometimes write poetry in Kannada language. Uh, today, uh, since many of you may not understand Kannada language, I have decided to say a few words about each poem um, in English and then read the poem. Uh, thanks to Hema for letting me uh, present my poems on this group and also um, whoever has birthdays today, uh, happy birthday to all of you. Today, uh, for this occasion, I have written a, a small poem, um, especially for today, that is about um, saris and a mother wearing a sari. Uh, as you all know, our mothers wear saris and they look very beautiful in saris. And not only that they look beautiful, our memories of childhood and, and um, if we are, especially if we are staying away from her, um, we have a connection through the saris. That is what I think. Uh, and this, uh, this poem is about that. Um, mother looks beautiful in saris and when she is not with us, uh, her sari brings a connection and her presence to us. Uh, that is what I have tried to tell in this poem. The poem is called Ammana Sire, Mother's Sari. Amma Ninutta Sire Yali Kandena Deshtondu Vaividya Prakriti Mateya Cheluvu Jagadambikeya Niluvu Adarelli Ninna Volavu Kalgadali Chimmuva Nerige Marava Balasuva Latayante Mai Balasi Ede Hodesi Suttuva Bechagina Seragu Muchidaru Soundarya Vetti Torisuva Metaneya Udupu Aruvarina Anchu Seragu Kottare Uttare Adarade Vishishta Meragu Datta Karpasa Virali Namuru Kitaja Virali Bate Yavudadare Nante Ni Nutta Sirige Bere Sati Yunte Datta Karpas Andre Thick Cotton Namuru Kitaja Andre Soft Silk Datta Karpasa Virali, Namuru Kitaja Virali, Bate Yavudada Renante, Ni Nutta Sirege Bere Sati Yunte, Ninna Seregina Mareyelli, Halundil to Maratira Bahudu, Indigu, Nin Nedeyelli Mukavidalu Vandagu, Nam Medeya Midita, Ninna Seregina Dielli, Halundil to Maratira Bahudu, Indigu, Nin Nedeyelli Mukavidalu, 
ಒಂದಾಗುವುದು ನಮ್ಮೆದೆಯ ಮಿಡಿತ ನೀನೆಷ್ಟೇ ದೂರವಿದ್ದರೂ ಸುಖದಲ್ಲೂ ದುಃಖದಲ್ಲೂ ನೀನುಟ್ಟ ಸೀರೆಯನೇ ಎದೆಗೊತ್ತಿ ನಿನ್ನ ಕಾಣುತ್ತೇನೆ ನನ್ನ ಬಳಿ ಜೋಡಿಸಿದಂತೆ ಕರುಳ ಬಳ್ಳಿ ನೀನೆಷ್ಟೇ ದೂರವಿದ್ದರೂ ಸುಖದಲ್ಲೂ ದುಃಖದಲ್ಲೂ ನೀನುಟ್ಟ ಸೀರೆಯನ್ನು ಎದೆಗೊತ್ತಿ ನಿನ್ನ ಕಾಣುತ್ತೇನೆ ಜೋಡಿಸಿದಂತೆ ಕರುಳ ಬಳ್ಳಿ ಅಮ್ಮನ ಸೀರೆ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಹೇಮಾ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಟುಡೆ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ಲಿ ರೀಡ್ ದ ಪೋಯಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅವಕಾಶವಿರಲಿ ಲೆಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಿ ಮೋರ್ ಚಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ಆನ್ ಲವ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಫೇಲ್ ಎಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಲವ್ ನೆವರ್ ಫೇಲ್ಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಡೂ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಹೋಪ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲವ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಫೇಲಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೈಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಅನದರ್ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಬೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೇಪಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಲವಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಸೀವಿಂಗ್ ಲವ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫೇಲ್ಯೂರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೆಸ್ಟಡೇ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಓಪನ್ ಟು ಲವ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅವಕಾಶವಿರಲಿ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಗೆದ್ದವರಿಗಿಂತ ಸೋತವರೇ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಸೋತವರು ಪ್ರೇಮಿಗಳು ಪ್ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರೀತಿಗಿನ್ನೊಂದು ಅವಕಾಶವಿರಲಿ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಗೆದ್ದವರಿಗಿಂತ ಸೋತವರೇ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಸೋತವರು ಪ್ರೇಮಿಗಳು ಪ್ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರೀತಿಗಿನ್ನೊಂದು ಅವಕಾಶವಿರಲಿ ಹಿಂತಿರುಗಿ ನೋಡದೆ ಎದ್ದು ಹೋದವರೆಲ್ಲ ಬುದ್ಧರಾಗುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೋಲನ್ನು ಸ್ವೀಕರಿಸಿ ಪ್ರಬುದ್ಧರಾಗಿ ಎದ್ದು ನಿಲ್ಲಬೇಕು ಹಿಂತಿರುಗಿ ನೋಡದೆ ಎದ್ದು ಹೋದವರೆಲ್ಲ ಬುದ್ಧರಾಗುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರಬುದ್ಧರಾಗಿ ಸೋಲನ್ನು ಸ್ವೀಕರಿಸಿ ಪ್ರಬುದ್ಧರಾಗಿ ಎದ್ದು ನಿಲ್ಲಬೇಕು ಮಿಡಿವ ಹೃದಯವೆಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರೀತಿಗೆ ಸ್ಪಂದಿಸುವುದು ಪ್ರಕೃತಿಯ ಅಮೋಘ ರಚನೆ ಮಿಡಿವ ಮೃದು ಹೃದಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ಮಡುವಿದೆ ಮಮತೆಯ ಮಡಿಲಿದೆ ಸೋತ ನಿನ್ನೆಗಳೆಲ್ಲ ನಿನ್ನೆಗೇ ಇರಲಿ ಇಂದು ಸಿಹಿ ಸಂಬಂಧಕ್ಕೆ ಮುಕ್ತ ಮನವೊಂದಿರಲಿ ಪ್ರೀತಿಗಿನ್ನೊಂದು ಅವಕಾಶವಿರಲಿ ಸೋತ ನಿನ್ನೆಗಳೆಲ್ಲ ನಿನ್ನೆಗೇ ಇರಲಿ ಇಂದು ಸಿಹಿ ಸಂಬಂಧಕ್ಕೆ ಮುಕ್ತ ಮನವೊಂದಿರಲಿ ಪ್ರೀತಿಗಿನ್ನೊಂದು ಅವಕಾಶವಿರಲಿ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಹೌ ಶಿ ವುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ತಿಜೋರಿ ಟ್ರೆಜರ್ ಟ್ರೋ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಟ್ರೆಜರ್ ಟ್ರೋ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಮರೀಸ್ ಐ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ವೇರ್ ದೆನ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಟ್ರೆಜರ್ ಟು ಮೀ and now a treasured memory and i want to hold on to them those little toys you got from the fair things you fought with your siblings to get hold of things your brother might have so benevolently given it to you something you really thought was very rare and only you had it and some of the things your mother used to use all those memories are a treasure indeed ತಿಜೋರಿ ಮನೆಯ ಮೂಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಕಟ್ಟಿಗೆಯ ಪೆಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಬಣ್ಣ ಬೇಗಡೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲ ಚಿಲಕ ಬೀಗವೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಧೂಳು ಮೆದ್ದ ಚಿಂದಿ ಹೊದ್ದ ಹಳೆಯದೊಂದು ಪೆಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ತೆಗೆದು ಎಸೆಯಲು ಏಕೋ ಕೈಬಾರದು ತೆರೆದು ನೋಡಲು ಮನಸ್ಸು ಭಾರವಾಗುವುದು ಹಳೆಯ ನೆನಪುಗಳ ಉಗ್ರಾಣ ಬಾಲ್ಯದ ಸಂಪತ್ತಿನ ತಿಜೋರಿ ಅದು ಆ ಮೂಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಜಾತ್ರೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಂಡಂಥ ತುಕ್ಕು ಹಿಡಿದರೂ ಸದ್ದು ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ತಗಡಿನ ಟಿಕಿಟಿಕಿ ಸಂಭ್ರಮದಿಂದ ತೊಟ್ಟು ಮೆರೆದ ಬಣ್ಣ ಮಾಸಿದರೂ ಹೊಳೆವ ಸುಂದರ ಮುತ್ತಿನ ಹಾರ ಅಕ್ಕ ಆಡಿ ನೋಡಿಕೊಂಡ ಚಂದ ಅಂಗಿ ತೊಟ್ಟುಕೊಂಡ ನಾನು ಕಾಡು ಕಾಡಿ ಬೇಡಿದಂಥ ಬಂಗಾರದ ಕೂದಲಿದ್ದ ಕೈ ಕಾಲು ಮುರಿದು ಹೋದ ಗುಲಾಬಿ ಬಣ್ಣದ ಒಂದು ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಗೊಂಬೆ ಅಂಚಿನಲ್ಲಷ್ಟೇ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಉಳಿದ ಇನ್ನೂ ಹಚ್ಚುವ ಪಫ
ಎಂದು ಬಚ್ಚಲೊಲೆಯ ಬೆಂಕಿಯಿಂದ ಕೈ ಸುಟ್ಟುಕೊಂಡು ಉಳಿಸಿಕೊಂಡ ನೀಲಿ ಹಕ್ಕಿ ಚಿತ್ರದ ಖಾಲಿ ಬೆಂಕಿ ಪೊಟ್ಟಣ ಒಂದೇ ಎರಡೇ ಹೀಗೆ ಹಲವಾರು ನಾ ಇರುವವರೆಗೆ ಇರಲಿ ಧೂಳು ಒಳಗೆ ಇಳಿಯದಿರಲಿ ಇರುವು ಮರೆವು ಆಗದಿರಲಿ ಮನದ ಮನೆಯ ಮೂಲೆಯಲ್ಲಾದರೂ ಇದ್ದು ಬಿಡಲಿ ಆ ಹಳೆಯ ಪೆಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ತಿಜೋರಿ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಎಂಜಾಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋಯಟ್ರಿ ಐ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಎ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಲೈವ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಎವರ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಲೈಫ್ ಆನ್ ಮೈ ಓನ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಎನಿ ಹಿಕಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಮರ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮೀ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೈಟಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಅನುರಣನ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ರೆಸನೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟೂ ಲೈಫ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ನರ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲಿವ್ಡ್ ಎ ಲೈಫ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಏಜ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ನರ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪೇನ್ ಆರ್ ಇಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ನರ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಕಾಸ್ ಎನಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಏಕ್ ಟು ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವೆದರ್ಡ್ ಎ ಲೈಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಲಿವ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲವ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪೇನ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಮೈಲ್ಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ನರ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಹೈಡ್ ವೈ ಬೇರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪೇನ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಲೆನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಶೇರ್ಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ವೈ ಕೈಂಟ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಶಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ರೆಸನೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲವ್ ಈಚ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಬೀಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ರೆಸೊನೇಟೆಡ್ ರೆಸೊನೇಟೆಡ್ ಲವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶಿವ ಟು ಡ್ರಿಂಕ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪಾಯ್ಸನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸರ್ಪೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಕಾಯ್ಲ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ನೆಕ್ ಸೊ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವರಿ ಬಿ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ವಾಕ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಟು ದ ಲೈಫ್ಸ್ ಹೊರೈಸನ್ ಅನುರಣನ ನಿನ್ನ ನಗುವಿನ ಹಿಂದೆ ನೋವಿನ ಆಗರವಿದೆ ನನ್ನ ಕಂಗಳ ಒಳಗೆ ಮೌನ ಮಾತಾಡಿದೆ ನಿನ್ನ ನಗುವಿನ ಹಿಂದೆ ನೋವಿನ ಆಗರವಿದೆ ನನ್ನ ಕಂಗಳ ಒಳಗೆ ಮೌನ ಮಾತಾಡಿದೆ ನಮ್ಮೆದೆಯ ತಮಟೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯದೆ ಅನುರಣನ ಕೇಳಿಸದೆ ನಿನಗೀಗ ಈ ಮೌನರಾಗ ಜೀವನದಿ ಹಲವಾರು ಕಷ್ಟ ಸುಖ ಕಂಡವರು ಬೇವಿನಲ್ಲೂ ಬೆಲ್ಲವನ್ನು ಬೆರೆಸಿ ಉಂಡವರು ಜೀವನದ ಸಂಧ್ಯೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನೀನೇಕೆ ಏಕಾಕಿ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಇದ್ದರೂ ನಡುವೆ ದೂರ ಇಷ್ಟೇಕೆ ನಿನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನಲಿವಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಸಮಪಾಲು ನನಗಿತ್ತೆ ನೋವಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನಿನಗೇಕೆ ಸಿಂಹಪಾಲು ಹಾಲಾಹಲವ ಕುಡಿಗೆ ಪರಶಿವನ್ನು ನೀನಲ್ಲ ಕತ್ತನ್ನು ಒತ್ತರಿಸೆ ಸರ್ಪ ನಾನಲ್ಲ ಹಾಲಾಹಲವ ಕುಡಿಗೆ ಪರಶಿವನ್ನು ನೀನಲ್ಲ ಕತ್ತನ್ನು ಒತ್ತರಿಸೆ ಸರ್ಪ ನಾನಲ್ಲ ನೀನು ಎವೆ ಇಕ್ಕದೆಯೇ ರೆಪ್ಪೆ ತೊಯ್ದಿದೆ ನೋಡು ನಿನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಗುಟ್ಟೀಗ ಬಟ್ಟ ಬಯಲು ಬಿಡು ನಿನ್ನ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ನನಗೆ ನೀನ ಅನಿವಾರ್ಯ ಕೈ ಹಿಡಿದು ನಡೆಯೋಣ ದಿಗಂತದೆಡೆಗೆ ಅನುರಣನ ದಿಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದ ವೇ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ i think about it um since some of my uh, non kannada speaking friends requested me to translate it uh, i don't know if it is a translation but i have tried my best to put uh, the same poem in english words so i will read both of them to you the first i will read it in kannada and then i will read it in english samvedane ಏಕಾಂತದಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀ ಮೌನ ಒಮ್ಮೊಮ್ಮೆ ಭೀಕರ ಒಮ್ಮೊಮ್ಮೆ ಸಹನೀಯ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಎದೆಯ ಸದ್ದು ಅಡಗಿದಂತಹ ಮೌನ ಬರಿ ಬದಿಯವರ ಉಸಿರ ಏರಿಳಿತ ಕೇಳುವಷ್ಟು ನಿಶಬ್ದ ಬದಿಯವರ ಉಸಿರ ಏರಿಳಿತ ಕೇಳುವಷ್ಟು ನಿಶಬ್ದ ನಿದ್ದೆ ಬಾರದ ಕಂಗಳ ಎವೆಯಿಕ್ಕುವ ಸದ್ದು ಗದ್ದಲದಂತೆ ನಿದ್ದೆ ಬಾರದ ಕಂಗಳ ಎವೆಯಿಕ್ಕುವ ಸದ್ದು ಗದ್ದಲ
ಎದ್ದು ಕಿಟಕಿ ತೆಗೆಯುವ ಸಾಹಸ ನನಗಿಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನ ನೋವಿಗೆ ಆಕಾರವಿಲ್ಲ ಮಲ್ಲಿಗೆಯೊಳಗಿನ ಸುಗಂಧದಂತೆ ಮೂಗಿಲ್ಲದವರಿಗೆ ಸುಗಂಧದ ಸಂವೇದನೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನ ನೋವಿಗೆ ಆಕಾರವಿಲ್ಲ ಮಲ್ಲಿಗೆಯೊಳಗಿನ ಸುಗಂಧದಂತೆ ಮೂಗಿಲ್ಲದವರಿಗೆ ಸುಗಂಧದ ಸಂವೇದನೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹಚ್ಚಿಟ್ಟ ಹಣತೆ ಉರಿದು ಆರಿದರೂ ನನಗೆಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟ ನನ್ನ ನೋವಿಗೆ ಬಣ್ಣವೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ನೀರು ಉಸಿರಿನಂತೆ ದಿಂಬಿನಂಚಿನ ತೇವ ಮುಂಜಾನೆ ಮಾಯ ಗುರುತುಗಳು ಅಸ್ಪಷ್ಟ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸೂರ್ಯನ ಉದಯ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬೆಳಕಿನ ಓಟ ಅದೇ ನಾನು ಅದೇ ನೋವು ಜೀವನದ ಸಂತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಡೊಂಬರಾಟ ಏಕಾಂತದಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀ ಮೌನ ಸಂವೇದನೆ ಇದನ್ನ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಸೊಲಿಲೊಕ್ರಿ ಅಂತ ಟೈಟಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇಟ್ ಎ ಟೈಟಲ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಸೊಲಿಲೊಕ್ರಿ ನೈಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಯೆಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಯೆಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ವಿಲ್ ಸೈಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಿವೇಲ್ಸ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ಲೆಸ್ ಐಸ್ ಬ್ಲಿಂಕ್ ರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚೆಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ಮೀ ಎಕೋಸ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಬ್ಲೂ ನೈಟ್ ಸ್ಕೈ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಸ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ಲಾರ್ಕ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಎನ್ಕ್ಲೋಷರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋ ಕರೇಜ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಓಪನ್ ದ ವಿಂಡೋ ಪೇನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನೋ ಶೇಪ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಫ್ರೇಗ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲಿಂಗಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ವಿತ್ ನೋ ನೋಸ್ ನೋ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ನೋ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಪರ್ಮಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರೇಗ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಪೇನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನೋ ಶೇಪ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಫ್ರೇಗ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲಿಂಗಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ವಿತ್ ನೋ ನೋಸ್ ನೋ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ no not the permeating fragrance pain has no color as well like air and water night lamp has burned and died i still see clearly wet corner of my pillow is dry by dawn leaving a faint mark behind the sun comes up again light resumes stage is set for the day play i must for i know my role plain pain can just be a quiet soliloquy soliloquy should i go on or should i stop here what are you saying thank you i can i can see some of the comments here this one is called bandhana there is a famous poem by uh, the famous gulzar um, sahab in hindi urdu called kitni dir mein baati hai i have i have loved it so much ever since i have i read it and i have tried to put that poem in my own little words in kannada i cannot say it is a translation but uh, most of the things are based on uh, on that poem it talks about how women are shackled by the society in the name of customs traditions culture and art how women try to untangle themselves not by not but they still find more bandhana eshtondu gantugala bidisidenu nanu inneshtu bandhana galiveyo eno kalalli gejje kalunguragalu kai tolu galige bale naga muriyu sontakke odyana berali gungura koralalli kasina sara chandrahara chucchi chucchittarenna moogu kivigalanu ಹಾಗೆ ಆಭರಣ ಒಡವೆ ಎಂದೆನ್ನುತ್ತ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ರೀತಿಗಳ ಹಗ್ಗಗಳಲ್ಲೆನ್ನ ಬಿಗಿದಿಟ್ಟರು ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ವಿಧದಿಂದೆನ್ನ ಬಂಧಿಸಿದರು ಈಗ ಕೈಕಾಲುಗಳ ಚರ್ಮ ಸುಲಿಯುತ್ತಿವೆ ಗಾಯಗಳು ಮೇಲೆದ್ದು ತೋರುತ್ತಿವೆ ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಗಂಟುಗಳ ಬಿಡಿಸಿದೆನು ನಾನು ಸುತ್ತಿದ ಗಂಟದೆಷ್ಟೋ ಬಿಚ್ಚಿ ಬಿತ್ತು ನನ್ನಂಗ ಅಂಗಗಳು ನನ್ನಂದ ಬಣ್ಣಗಳು ನನ್ನ ನೋಟ ಮಾಟ ನನ್ನ ನಡೆ ನುಡಿ ನನ್ನ ಕೊರಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕೋಗಿಲೆಯ ಇಂಪು ನನ್ನ ಕುರುಳು ಇರುಳು ಜಡೆ ಹಾವು ಕೂದಲು ಕಪ್ಪು ಮೋಡ 
ನನ್ನ ತುಟಿ ಗುಲಾಬಿ ಕಂಗಳೇ ಮದುವೆ ಕವನ ಕಾವ್ಯಗಳ ಹೇಳುತ್ತ ಹೇಳುತ್ತ ಸೌಂದರ್ಯ ಮತ್ತು ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕಥೆಗಳಲ್ಲೆನ್ನ ಬಿಗಿದಿಟ್ಟರು ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲೆನ್ನ ಬಂಧಿಸಿದರು ಒಮ್ಮೆ ಕೇಳಲೇ ನಾನೀಗ ಕಾಣಿಸಿತೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನನ್ನ ಕಂಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಮದುವೆ ಆಕಾಶ ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಕಾಣಿಸಲೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಶ್ರಾವಣದ ಮಳೆಯೇನೋ ಕಾಣಿಸಿತು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾರೂ ನೋವನ್ನು ನೋಡಲೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಕೌಶಲ್ಯದ ನವಿರು ಶಲ್ಯದೊಳಗೆ ಕೆತ್ತಿದರೆನ್ನ ನಗ್ನ ಮೂರ್ತಿಯನು ಎಳೆ ಎಳೆಯಾಗಿ ನನ್ನನ್ನು ವಿವಸ್ತ್ರಗೊಳಿಸಿದರು ನನ್ನ ದೇಹದ ಮೇಲೆ ಕಲೆಯ ಸಮಾವೇಶವೇ ಆಯಿತು ಮತ್ತೆ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಕಲೆ ಎಂದೆಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳುತ್ತಾ ಅಮೃತ ಶಿಲೆಯಲ್ಲೆನ್ನ ಬಿಗಿದಿಟ್ಟರು ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲೆನ್ನ ಹಿಡಿದಿಟ್ಟರು ಹೇಳಿರಿ ಹೇಳಿರಿ ಯಾರಾದರೂ ನನಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬಂಧನಗಳ ಬಿಡಿಸಿದೆನು ನಾನು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಇನ್ನೆಷ್ಟು ಬಂಧನಗಳಿವೆಯೋ ಇನ್ನು ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಬಂಧನಗಳಿವೆಯೋ ಇನ್ನು ಬಂಧನ shall i go on do i read more poems hema you can tell me at least in comment this one is called i mother i wrote this on a um, uh, to my mom on a mother's day today is not mother's day but i think i'm sure all of you can relate to this uh, poem it is about how our mothers um, give birth to us and without caring for their own sleep and hunger and pain they take care of us teach us everything uh, from walking to talking to first letters and um, everything so when we grow up it becomes a memory and uh, and we respect it and we want her ashirwad her blessings always um, i will read it in kannada ai hottavalu neenu hettavalu neenu novu nidheyalidaru eddu edehala nittavalu neenu ಅತ್ತು ಕರೆದರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಎತ್ತಿ ಎದೆಗೊತ್ತಿ ಕಣ್ಣೊರೆಸಿ ಮುತ್ತ ನಿಟ್ಟವಳು ನೀನು ಹಸಿರು ಹಂಬಲಿಸೆ ಕರೆದು ತುತ್ತ ನಿಟ್ಟವಳು ನೀನು ಎಡವಿ ಬೀಳದ ಹಾಗೆ ಬೆರಳಿತ್ತು ನಡೆಸಿದವಳು ನೀನು ತೊದಲ ನುಡಿಯನ್ನು ತಿದ್ದಿ ಮಾತ ಕಲಿಸಿದವಳೇ ನೀನು ಎಡೆಬಿಡದ ನೂರೆಂಟು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳ ಸುರಿಮಳೆಗೆ ಸರಿಯುತ್ತರವನಿಟ್ಟವಳು ನೀನು ಮೊದಲ ಪಾಠವ ಕಲಿಸಿ ವಿದ್ಯೆಗೆ ನಾಂದಿ ಹಾಡಿದವಳು ನೀನು ನಿನ್ನ ಮಾತುಗಳೆಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ನುಡಿಮುತ್ತುಗಳು ನನಗೆ ಇಂದೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಎಂದೆಂದೂ ನನ್ನಲ್ಲೇ ನೆಲೆಸಿರುವೆ ನೀನು ತಾಯೇ ಇದೋ ನಿನ್ನಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಶಿರಬಾಗಿ ನಮಿಸುವೆನು ಎಂದಿನಂತೆಯೇ ನನ್ನ ನಿಂದು ಹಾರೈಸಿ ಆಶೀರ್ವದಿಸು ನೀನು ಮದರ್ಸ್ ಮೆಮರಿ ಈಸ್ ಸೋ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ಅವೇ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ god forbid she is not there with us anymore but her sarees and everything about her her memories are always alive with us and we feel her presence always she lives in in us that's what i meant in that uh, in this poem as well as the first saree poem i read about mom mom's saree this one is called ase desire it talks about human desires how we always want more and something different than what we already have where do desires come from and what is the secret behind all these never ending desires that is my question i haven't tried to try to answer in this but that is still my question it is uh, like a secret to me where is the source of it and why it is never ending 
even if our pantry is full and we have um, plenty to eat but we still want something more something different if we, we are wearing beautiful sarees and adorning ourselves with exquisite jewelry we want something new and those who have uh, nothing to eat just want something to eat but those who have feast every day are probably uh, whinging that they don't have a, a golden plate to eat it from uh, it's everything about such uh, desires and even saints and and monks they desire moksha that is salvation it is about that ase beku bekembase bembidade kaaduvudu ellidara huttu enidara guttu ugrana tumbiralu nityavu sugrasa adaru inneno tinnu ase patte seeraya nuttu honna hore hottaru inneno udu ase hocha hosadu ಹಿಟ್ಟಿಲ್ಲದಿರುವವಗೆ ತುತ್ತು ರೊಟ್ಟಿಯ ಆಸೆ ಮೃಷ್ಟಾನ್ನವಿರುವವಗೆ ಹೊನ್ನ ಹರಿವಾಣ ಮನೆ ತುಂಬ ಜನರಿರಲು ಏಕಾಂತದಲ್ಲಿರುವ ಆಸೆ ಏಕಾಂಗಿಯಾದವಗೆ ಸಹವಾಸದಾಸೆ ಗಿರಿ ಅಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿರುವವಗೆ ಶಿಖರಗಳ ಮುಡಿಯಾಸೆ ವನಸಿರಿಯಲ್ಲಿರುವವಗೆ ಮರಳ ತಡಿಯಾಸೆ ಕುಳಿತಲ್ಲೇ ಕುಳಿತವಗೆ ಎದ್ದು ನಡೆಯುವ ಆಸೆ ಓಡಾಡಿ ನಡೆವವಗೆ ಹಾರಾಡುವ ಆಸೆ ಸಂಸಾರಿಯಾದವಗೆ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಓಡುವ ಆಸೆ ವೈರಾಗಿಯಾದವಗೂ ಮರಳಿ ಮದುವೆ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಗುರುವಿಗೂ ಬೇಕು ಉತ್ತಮೋತ್ತಮ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ಸಂತರಿಗೂ ಮೋಕ್ಷದ್ವಾರ ಬೇಕು ಬೇಕೆಂಬ ಆಸೆ ಎಲ್ಲರನ್ನು ಕಾಡುವುದು ಎಲ್ಲಿದರ ಹುಟ್ಟು ಏನಿದರ ಗುಟ್ಟು ಆಸೆ I am trying to read some of your responses. Thank you everyone. There are so many I can see um, Radhika Kulhali is in my sister-in-law and Purnima Nagraj, Hema Shetty, Bhagya Bhatt and who else is there? Thank you for everyone. Anu, Anu Shivram, I can see her here. And thank you everyone for listening to me. Is it enough or should I go on? I have a couple more here in front of me. If you are interested, I can, I can read or if it is already too late, I can finish it here. Please let me know. Okay, Hema is saying I can do a couple more. Yes, I will. This, this one I, this one I wrote for my sister. It is called Nanaka, my older sister. Um, many of you may relate to this because sisterly love is very, very precious. That bond is very precious. I'm certainly blessed to have my sister in my life. She smiles and looks like my dad, but she hugs like my mom. And she is my friend and confidant. And she, her house and her heart is always open to me. And she, she has... She has such virtues and, and I ask her to share her virtues with me and I promise I want to share my sat karma phala that is my good karma that whatever I get out of my good karma I want to share that with her. That is my akka and my sister Nanaka. 
ಅಕ್ಕ ನೀನಕ್ಕರೆ ಸವಿಜೇನಮೆದ್ದಂತೆ ನೀನು ಅತ್ತರೆ ನನ್ನ ಎದೆ ಹಿಂಡಿದಂತೆ ಅಕ್ಕ ನೀನಕ್ಕರೆ ಸವಿಜೇನಮೆದ್ದಂತೆ ನೀನು ಅತ್ತರೆ ನನ್ನ ಎದೆ ಹಿಂಡಿದಂತೆ ಒಮ್ಮೆ ನೀನಕ್ಕರೆ ಸಾಕು ಅಪ್ಪನದೆ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಅಪ್ಪಿದರೆ ಮಮತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಆಯಿಯದೆ ಛಾಯೆ ನೀನು ಒಮ್ಮೆ ನೀನಕ್ಕರೆ ಸಾಕು ಅಪ್ಪನದೆ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಅಪ್ಪಿದರೆ ಮಮತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಆಯಿಯದೆ ಛಾಯೆ ನೀನು ನಿನ್ನೊಂದು ನೋಟದಲ್ಲಿ ನನ್ನ ತವರ ಬಳಗವನ್ನು ನಿನ್ನ ನುಡಿಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಣುವೆನು ಹಿರಿಯರಾಶೀರ್ವಚನ ತುತ್ತಲ್ಲಿ ತುತ್ತುಣಿಸಿ ಅತ್ತಾಗ ಕಣ್ಣೊರೆಸಿ ಇತ್ತು ಕಳುಹಿಸುವ ಹೆತ್ತ ತಾಯಂತೆ ನೀನು ತುತ್ತಲ್ಲಿ ತುತ್ತುಣಿಸಿ ಅತ್ತಾಗ ಕಣ್ಣೊರೆಸಿ ಇತ್ತು ಕಳುಹಿಸುವ ಹೆತ್ತ ತಾಯಂತೆ ನೀನು ಅಕ್ಕ ನೀ ನನ್ನ ಕಷ್ಟ ಸುಖಗಳ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ನೀ ನನ್ನ ಆತ್ಮ ಸಖಿ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕಿಲ್ಲ ಬೇರೆ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ನನ್ನ ಅವಗುಣಗಳೆಣಿಸದೆಯೇ ಮನೆ ಮನವ ತೆರೆದವಳೆ ಬಿರಿದ ಬಾಹುಗಳಿಂದ ಬರಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡವಳೆ ನಿನ್ನ ಗುಣರಾಶಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನನಗೊಂದು ಪಾಲಿರಲಿ ನನ್ನ ಸತ್ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಪಾಲೊಂದು ನಿನಗಿರಲಿ ಅಕ್ಕ ನೀನಕ್ಕರೆ ಸವಿಜೇನಮೆದ್ದಂತೆ ನನ್ನ ಅಕ್ಕ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಮಾನಿನಿ ವುಮನ್ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಟನ್ ಆನ್ ಎನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ವುಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಡೇ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹೌ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಡಾಟರ್ ಅ ವೈಫ್ ಅ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಅ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಐ ಲವ್ ಈಚ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಐ ಮೇಕ್ ದೇರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ ದೋಸ್ ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಐ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟು ಲೈಫ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಲೈಟ್ ದ ಮೂನ್ ಬೀಮ್ ದ ಕೂಲ್ ಬ್ರೀಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸ್ಪ್ರೌಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೀಡ್ ಗ್ರೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೀ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಮಾನಿನಿ ನಾನು ಮಮತೆಯ ತಾಯಿಯಾಗಿ ಮೋಹದ ಮಡದಿಯಾಗಿ ಮುದ್ದಿನ ಮಗಳಾಗಿ ಸೋದರಿ ಸಖಿಯಾಗಿ ಬಾಳ ಬೆಳಗುತ್ತೇನೆ ನಾನು ಮಮತೆಯ ತಾಯಿಯಾಗಿ ಮೋಹದ ಮಡದಿಯಾಗಿ ಮುದ್ದಿನ ಮಗಳಾಗಿ ಸೋದರಿ ಸಖಿಯಾಗಿ ಬಾಳ ಬೆಳಗುತ್ತೇನೆ ನಾನು ಕಾರ್ ಮೋಡದ ಮಿಂಚಾಗಿ ಮಳೆಬಿಲ್ಲಿನ ಅಂಚಾಗಿ ಬಿಸಿಲಿನ ಶಾಖವಾಗಿ ಬೆಳದಿಂಗಳ ಶೀತವಾಗಿ ಸುಖ ನೀಡುತ್ತೇನೆ ನಾನು ಮಳೆಯಾಗಿ ಸುರಿಯುತ್ತೇನೆ ಮೊಳಕೆಯಾಗಿ ಬಿರಿಯುತ್ತೇನೆ ಪಚ್ಚ ಹಸಿರು ಹೊನ್ನ ಪೈರು ಹೂವು ಹಣ್ಣಾಗಿ ಉಣ್ಣಲು ತುತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೇನೆ ನಾನು ಮಳೆಯಾಗಿ ಸುರಿಯುತ್ತೇನೆ ಮೊಳಕೆಯಾಗಿ ಬಿರಿಯುತ್ತೇನೆ ಪಚ್ಚ ಹಸಿರು ಹೊನ್ನ ಪೈರು ಹೂವು ಹಣ್ಣಾಗಿ ಉಡಲು ತುತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೇನೆ ನಾನು ಹರಿವ ನೀರಿನಂತೆ ಬಿಸಿಲ ಕಿರಣದಂತೆ ತಣ್ಣನೆಯ ಉಸಿರಿನಂತೆ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿರಂತರ ನಾನು ಹರಿವ ನೀರಿನಂತೆ ಬಿಸಿಲ ಕಿರಣದಂತೆ ತಣ್ಣನೆಯ ಉಸಿರಿನಂತೆ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿರಂತರ ನಾನು ಹೆಣ್ಣು ನಾನು ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ನಾನು ಮಾನವಿ ನಾನು ಮಾನಿನಿ ವುಮನ್ ಮಾನಿನಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಿಸ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ದ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ಗ್ಲಿಚಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ unfortunately i could not uh, i don't know somehow i tried and even my daughter tried i could not get into uh, hema's invitation uh, live with her and i'm trying to join her to my uh, live right now i that was also i was unable to do so i had to go without any break just reading my poem i don't know how much you all enjoyed that i hope uh, i have entertained you or given you something to think about this evening and um, if i have to talk about my sari this is uh, um, case i see my sur silk sari pink with blue border and i'm i like it very much and maybe hema will put up some photos of um, this sari later on um, without interacting i just went on and on and on talking thank you very much thank you each one of you who joined and uh, commented here and listened to my poetry
थैंक यू एवरी वन बाय बाय